Hey guys, it's me again, Orc Slayer. What if where we last left off? Let's see, check, check, checking. Hmm. So, where we last left off, Bell Deck. Sorry, Bell and Deku plus the gang. Pretty much get, got out of Dodge because they pretty much killed an important gang leader or a high ranking gang member at the very least. And yeah, they had to get the hell out of Dodge. They got on a ship, cargo ship specifically, and they left. They're under a contract that says they'll be part of the security detail as a private, as like a freelancing, a freelance squad of mercenaries called the Onyx Sentries. They were welcome aboard, and they were placed in cargo, pretty much to, like, guard there. They got all their gu money, all their guns, everything. As when they wake up, it's like, it's like, hey guys, we got a report to the, like, where we're getting assigned for today. I was like, what are we supposed to do? You two are passengers, essentially. Like, you're our reps or something? I don't know. Anyways, they may come to questions with you with about money and such. Or like payment for our services. It is as Weasel or whoever explains it to them. So, that being said, they all like start moving out as it's like, May all freelancers and security detail please come to the to the commanding deck. We would captain would like to assign you your roles today. As like, oh, okay, as it's like, that we like get our orders from like, just the intercom. <sighs> Who knows, maybe this captain's different. As then the captain addresses them, addresses them the, pretty much, he says that this will be the only time he'll really address them on their stations. But they won't really change during this course of this trip. They'll all stay in the same station. As then he lists them off. Alright, as he goes through the list, it's like... Security Squad 1... Of the security detail... Is to stay present during the hallways at all times. You are to make routinely patrols throughout the ship. That goes for all of you. Except for one of... Except for you there. As like... Us? Yes. On Sentries, you are being sent into the cargo hold. You are to ensure none of the cargo goes missing. It's like, excuse me, sir, but as like, Ida points out, wouldn't this be better, better suited for someone not more associated with the your cargo and such? As he's like, typically yes, but we were kind of understaffed. The entire reason why we're we were hiring freelancers, I was just like, all right, we understand. So, with that being said, they all, like, head down there, and they make, they, like, stay grouped together. Weasel's pretty, well, actually, Bell and Kaminari are, like, in the roof on the tops, like, rooftops. Well, not rooftop, but, like, higher up where they can get more of a vantage point with their snipers, rifles. Then the rest of them are on the ground, just, like, keeping on scanning and such. They routinely, like, check on stuff and such. The, uh, I believe it's, like, the people with the manifest, I believe is the word, where it has, like, all their, um, uh, the details on what they're, st the, what they're carrying from place to place. As they're standing there, a few of the workers sort of, like, look at Bakugo, because they've never really seen a Krogan. Or at least one that, one that didn't try to intimidate them or something. So a lot of them are from that world beyond back back there. Uh, their ho home world, quote unquote. That wasn't, that really wasn't part of a gang. So a few of them are curious, like, I wonder who he belongs to. Like, well, if he belonged to one of the gangs, wouldn't, like, there be more with the colors around? Like, well, it says they're freelancers here. As they're, like, all whispering... Spock goes just like look like he takes a second to turn like turn his head towards them they all like a bunch of them get nervous and like duck down and high and it's like hmm. 
as he continues uh, looking forward, not really caring about any of that. So as he uh, continues with that, uh, he, like I said, he continues with that. And with that being said, <clears throat> man, uh, hmm, I guess they just go through their journey. And as they're like, it's like, hey, it's lunchtime. As pretty as, uh, er, uh, well, I guess Araka could work multiple jobs. She comes walking in with her, like, lunches, as it's like, here's your lunch. As she hands them off to the guys, and she's like, so, do you guys have any interesting stories? Is like what Araka asked, like, well, before she was kind of nervous, but she under asked them, like, what's it like to be a freelancer? As a few of them, like, uh, Weasel tries to, like, act all cool and such and smooth. Kaminari's like, we, hey, as he's like, hey, Belle, look at that. Weasel's trying to talk to that girl. As Weasel is trying to be charismatic, you could say. And as that's pretty much starting, like, he doesn't really have the finesse you could say as in Deku pretty much comes over he's overplaying some of the stuff we've done in truth we get shot we shoot at people we get shot at circle of life but as you can probably tell we're pretty good at our jobs otherwise the seven of us wouldn't be here right now and she's like Oh, uh, I guess that makes sense. It's like, mm hmm. So, as then they continue to talk with her about things. Like, so, you guys came back from that world? Yep. Huh. Like, no offense, but I thought no one ever left there. It's like, mm, if they get the chance, they do it. Some people just become stagnant. We've been wanting to get off that rock for some time now. Nothing but gangs and more gangs. It's truly a hellhole if anyone ever knew one. But anyways, what are you doing on a ship like this? Because uh, as they're lo as Deku's looking at her, you look kind of young to be run working on a tr cargo ship. As she's like, oh, it's it's uh, nothing. As she's like scratching the back of her head. Uh, my parents just, you know, what, abandoned you, couldn't afford to keep you around, what? She's like, um, well, sort of like, uh, the second, third option, I believe. Couldn't keep you around, couldn't afford you, yeah. Second option is, it's like, ah, uh, yeah, too bad. Well, anyways, <sighs> No need to worry about worry about your safety. That's as long as that's I guess that just goes as long as well. That just goes for as long as you're in the cargo hold, as Deku says jokingly. As a few people get as everyone else get a few chuckles. As in everyone like returns their like dish plate, you could say, and returns it to her ash, then she returns back to the kitchen to continue cleaning. As she does, like I said, quite a few things. Like, it's all pretty much grunt work, like cleaning up, lifting stuff with her bionics, that sort of thing. Nothing too advanced or anything. As, I'll say they're on there for like, hmm, space travel is unclear, but I think thanks to the mass relays, those things they use, they end up, they can actually go like from system to system, so... Why am I like? <sighs> Sorry, huh? As with that being said, they go from place to place and eventually, like, make it to their objective. And thankfully, they've only had a close call when it comes to a pirate thing, where, in the sense that there was a pirate ship attacking another cargo hold or a cargo ship. Where, in the sense, it was like, help, we need help. Some pirates tagged us, we need help, please, come on. Does it, hey, we see you, as it's like sending off messages, as then the pirate ship contacts them. Excuse me, near coming vessel. 
stay out of our way and we won't do anything. We already got our prey for today, so be on your merry way. As it's like, the captain says, change course as he directs them away from the ship. As it's like, as the captain on the other ship's like, what are you doing? As he's like, sorry, but I got my own crew to look out for. As he hangs up, as in eventually, like before it happened, it was just, uh, well, a couple of gunshots were heard. As Deku and them, like, heard from some of the guards that were on the command deck, you could say, saw, like, how the captain handled the situation, he's like, Bah, well, Ida, well, not Ida, but Kaminari or Kirishima was like, Man, that was cold as ice. Bakugo says it makes sense. They're already probably doomed if the pirates are already on board. Once they get inside, it's almost impossible to get them out. They're like roaches. As in, they're all about to retire. Scratch what I said about them having a peaceful time. Another pirate ship comes, comes around. It's like, Dear vessel. This is the pirate crew of the SS come here. Or the SS Brigade Renegade. You are to hand over all valuable cargo in your possession. Failure to comply will, will come at the cost of half of the crew's life. So it's up to you what you'd like to do. As the captain's like, oh shit. As he's running through his head what to do, what to do, it's like, Captain, we have our defense turrets on our ship. Any craft they send at us would be disabled. As he's like, our shields may be able to hold up against that, but how would they board us? Huh. It's like, we aren't getting a reply. Very well. Let me know to the captain of this vessel. You're... Captain decide to refuse our offer. Blame whatever comes on him. As then immediately, several like small ships. As it's like, sir, there's several small ships on our on our right wing near the cargo bay. As it's like, wait, what? As they like look at a camera, it's like, it's very of uh, like uh three or so vessels that pretty much latch onto the side, and it's like. Oh shit. Guys, look at that! As they, everyone like looks at that, it's like, what the? As a few, like a squadron, like a few, like a squad or so of, of uh, security guards come over, it's like, what's happening? As it's like, oh shit, everyone get ready! As they like throw down cover and such, as then three holes are just blasted off that door or off the like thing. Well,. Scratch that three holes. It's like a, the entire door where things would be loaded. It's being taken off by a secondary ship. As then, immediately as those doors close, the immediately bullets just start flying. As it's like, shit. As they all like take cover, it's like, how many are in there? It's like, uh, as they're like, what? Well, I count about like maybe 24. They're really interested in this cargo. As it's like, Kirishim, not Kirishim, uh, uh, Bell, Kaminari, t start taking out some there, looks like, look at the tougher people, as in, like, Ida, Kirishima, Bakugo, Bell, I mean, Deku, you guys need to f help the security guards form a somewhat of a defense, and Weasel, she's like, yes, do what you do best, cower, as it's like, alright, as it's like, now go, 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 as they start opening fire, as several of the security guards are like, What the hell are they doing? As Bakugo says, They're already on board. Let's just kill them and then kick them off. As they start firing now. As it's like, Alright. As in the security, some of the security guards are like, Alright. As they start firing their sidearms and such. As it's like, Grenade out! As it's like, What are you doing throwing grenade inside? As in, lands blowing away several... Several uh, pirates. As it's like, hmm. it's like, do we have anything else in here? As it's like, uh, I can't see anything. As it's like, uh, the security guard's like, oh, oh, um, I think we have a few, uh, a few uh, little uh, robots or drones on board. He's like, then boot them the hell up. 
I'm like, it's over there and that. It's like, all right, we'll give you some cover then. As then they start like, all you, give the guy some cover. As they start blasting again at these incoming barrage or so of people. Well, not barrage, but advancing people. As then eventually he runs over and it's like, starts tapping a few buttons and then it's just like activated. As they all like start like getting deployed, they start walking like do 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 do, and then they just start firing at this thing. It's like send them on march mode. We'll probably try to push up behind them to use their bodies as pretty much. Uh, I forget what the word is. Ah, oh, cannon father. There we go. As then they just start getting blasted to pieces, with a few of them taking down a few guys. It's like. They they may be weak, but they are but they are. It's ironic, yet they're oddly weak but resilient at the same time. Hmm. Anyways, keep killing them, as then eventually they just take down too many pirates as they're forced back, and eventually it's like, wait, what about everyone else on the inside? We've already lost pretty much that entire thing. As then they pretty much go to detach, it's like, the hangar door isn't... As then they get, like, almost several people get blasted out the airlock. With Bakugo and Deku having to grab onto something on the ground, as it's like... As Bell and Kirsch Kaminari, they're all, like, hanging on, it's like, Someone shut that door! As they radio it up to the captain, as he's like, what? The door in the hangar is still open! Oh god, as some of the cargo starts to like slide out of their places, as a few things fall off. Well, the one that falls off is uh Deku's and all their stuff. As it just like falls off and starts to roll. As our rocket's like, oh god. As she was going down there to see if she could be of help, since she is a biotic, she could throw people. As then the thing is shut, as right before it hits Deku and Bakugo, it's like they go to cover themselves, as the thing is pretty much halted in its tracks. It's kind of coming at them pretty slowly. They're lucky. As then she's like, you guys okay? As they're like, oh, yeah, we're good. I don't have any bullet holes. As in, it's like, oh, God. As a few of the security guards say, we went through all the those little mechs, but... And we lost a few security guards. But I don't know, everything else, everything seems to be okay. As it's like, all right. As their defense turrets have finally taken care of that, like, other pirate ship. Where... They're being forced to retreat, and it's like, hopefully that's the last thing that we have to deal with. As then eventually they make all their way, they make it back to their drop-off point. As he's like, yeah, this is everything, all the cargo's taken care of, and as they continuously speak, Bell and De well, Deku and Bakuyo say thanks to Uraraka for the her saving their ass. Essentially, saving their, yeah, asses, not ass. As then they can t speak with her a bit more, saying, if you're ever looking for work as freelancer, as they pretty much give her a card, quote-unquote, like a business card, like, call that number. Or check in with that number, I guess. As they leave, grabbing, having their gear loaded, well, having their own stuff loaded, and they, like, ha are, like, set off on a nice little planet that has like a few like eight million or so inhabitants so there's bound to be some business with them uh setting down and such they continue they continue with trying to find a place to hide all this as weasel talks with some people and they find a store like a housing like a storage or a warehouse there we go a warehouse to hide their stuff it's a small one but it's big enough as they Stash it there, as then everyone pretty much convenes. So, what do we do now? Like, hmm. Well, as then they all start talking. Even Inko says, well, I got a job here in like a month or so. So, you know, we could just wait till then. As it's like, well, it took us like a month to get here, didn't it? No, I'm not sure. 
Hmm. As then they just start talking, it's like, well, I'm going to see you talk with the uh, people. As she tries to get in ta- contact with them. As then Deku and the rest of them talk about their whole mercenary gig. As they say that they were offered a few more months to, like, stay on, the, like, a few more months to stay on that ship to keep on guarding cargo. If they need to, they could just stay on there. As Weasel's like, no, 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 no. If we're in space, we can more easily get killed, especially if the ship falls apart. Like, yeah, but no buts. Listen, hmm, I wonder, is there any bars for sale? As it's just like, you're not thinking, well, from what I know, this is still a city. People need to cool off, so there's bound to be some places people to go to cool off, and there's no way there's zero crime in this city. It may be better than the last one, but there's no way there's zero. As then... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Damn. As then are like, he has a point, you know. So what? Your bison goes and buys another... What? Club? Or is he gonna upgrade to a club instead of a bar? And then what? It's like, well then we just stay there. As it's like... That wouldn't make much sense. Like, if we're going to do that, we're going to need more people, I would feel like. Well, a club. Club would be, like, easier to do than a, than a bar. Well, club would be easier than, you know, mercenary gigs. Like, then what about all those firearms and weapons that we just so happen to be able to sneak past people? It's like... Well, he's like, there's no way we're feeding the criminal underworld again. It's like, no, no, we can be a legitimate business. As is like, how? All this is unmarked. The only people who are going to probably want this are criminals. It's like, you had no problem before yet, but that's because, like, everyone on that planet was pretty much a criminal. Think about it, the police were criminals, except for these guys, apparently. And then, apparently, like, they're like just a lot of unknown as it's like well, what do you suspect well this place se- does seem to be better far better off than the than the other planet maybe there's other ho- companies willing to look into hire a group of mercs as security it's like it ain't gonna be that easy well then why don't we all just look around you know take it easy for a little bit as in, it's like, contact, or Rock is like, hey, um, so, as she, like, gets a call, it's like, pretty much just, um, on, like, an Omni tool, and so it's like, hello, is, well, Omni tools, are those pretty much the phones and everything, like, how much does an Omni, are pretty much Omni tools a new phone, <laughs> that'd be neat, I guess that's a yes, I would say. As then it's like, uh, hello? Um, yeah, your friend we're talking, is this, uh, the, uh, someone that works for the Sentries? The Onyx Sentries? As it's like, um, <clears throat> uh, yes? Hey, yeah, they were offered me a job, like, in case I wanted to be a freelancer. Like, because of my biotics, they said they didn't have anyone like that. Um, well, I wouldn't say we don't have anyone, but we keep going as she's like, well, I haven't used a gun before, but my bionics are strong compared to most, even to some Asari, you know, as it's like, that's a really good thing. Hmm. Maybe, 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 maybe. Hmm. All right. As then they say this, we'll think about it. Do you have some place we could meet up to, like, get an actual interview? It's like, an interview? It's like, shut up. Yeah, I guess this place, as she sends them, like, a restaurant or something. It's like, very well, we'll meet you there this day, this time. As it's like, I guess that settles out with her, but yeah. Hmm. Well, Weasel, go up and dig up some places that may be looking for some proper, for some elite security. You could even throw an ex-military since, you know, eat on them. It's like, 
well, you got a point there. Then I Inko eventually comes back explaining, they, uh, I am allowed to come to the job early to, like, oversee preparations and such, so I'll be out of place for a little while. Like, okay, Mom, have fun. We'll deal with this stuff over here. As she's like, alright, you gotta stay safe. As, I'll say they've rented at least a few hotels at this point. Or at least are going to. As she pretty much is provided one by her company. As in, it's like, okay, so what can we do? What can we do? Hmm. As then, a few weeks later like a few li weeks later up to a month Uraka has pretty much is like there as an intern you could say to like learn the ropes as they all teach her some things <laughs> they even have some armor for her like when she is ready they spray paint it black of course <laughs> then they pretty much load her up well not load her up but they're all well weasel is not all of them are looking for jobs well, is looking for a job for them, as eventually comes across a not so well doing so well tech company since their warehouses keep on getting raided by well one their warehouse keeps on getting attacked by a very, very dangerous gang of thugs and such that keep on stealing technology and selling it on the black market. As it's like what who are who runs it? Uh, it's a man called David Shield and their, his daughter, uh, I forget her name, uh, shit, Melissa, there we go, Melissa Shield, as it's like, huh, so what, you think that we should offer our services to them? Well, they're offering quite a bit already, they may actually lose money on this, as, well, they offer some pretty good tech as well. If anything, we could just, you know, ask for tech stuff, so that way to upgrade our own equipment. It's like, why don't they just use mechs? Like, they tried that, those things got torn apart. After they were torn apart, they then looted the mechs and then re had them rebuilt, reprogrammed, and then eventually used them in the next time they raided. Who's ra raiding them? Eh, it's just some gangs that come together realizing they're easy prey. Look, it took me a while to get this information, so... I was like, alright then, let's go pay Mr. Shield a visit, shall we? As then they set off to go get in contact with David Shield. And... Along that way, they meet David Shield... And then, well, pretty much how this is goes, David Shield and, well, actually they even, like, before then, like, what's their race? And it's like, uh, I think they're Turian. Turians? It's like, yeah. Whew. Didn't expect Turians to be so good with tech. It's like, what? It's like, Turians typically, you know, militaristic. It's hard to believe. Well, it says here that he used to be part of the military, but he broke off once, like, he got served it and did his time he took his daughter with him to like so that way she wouldn't pretty much be forced into military service and it's like well that's something as then they can go forward and eventually meet up with david shield like as they pretty much barge into his office like in their armor and everything and then pretty much barge in there and just like we would like a meeting with David Shield as, like, the receptionist. Like, um, Mr. Shield, we have some, um, uh, figures here to meet with you. As he's like, oh, uh, send them up as he's looking at the footage. Like, what the hell? Uh, Melissa, get those mechs ready as they pretty much all walk into the office. As it's like, so, we heard you're hit having, uh, a bandit problem as they all, as, uh, Weasel comes and sits down. You're having a problem with people raiding your warehouse. As he's like, oh, yes, yes, most definitely. We would most definitely, uh, like your help in this matter. He's like, well, we are free, well, not help in this matter, but they're like, well, we're freelancers and we're currently, we currently don't have a job, so 
We'd like to offer our services to you, Mr. Shield. Now, if you could tell us a bit, as he's like, I'll pay anything. As they're like, what? All right. Depending on how some of these first nights go, we'll decide upon that, all right? As then they make their way in and move in pretty quickly. As he's like, um, okay. As then they, like, set up shop. Kirishima, well, Bell and Kaminari are again just, like, up in, like, high places, like, in towers or something. Hiding out. As he's like, hey, guys. We got some movement on the sectors. On the perimeter. Ah, uh, as in like, yep, looks like some thugs and such moving in. Oh, they're packing some heavy gear. Combat armor with sh shotguns and assault rifles. And it looks like they have a few mechs. Let's show them, let's show them how we do this. As immediately there's just an explosion and then from the warehouse just gunfire is seen as the so pretty much everyone's just cut down in like a matter of moments as like that's the first group as in another group comes rushing eventually like multiple groups come rushing like each group having like seven people and it's like all right as they start gunning them down snipe bell and kaminari are doing miracles thanks to the sniping sniping advantage and then Bell, well not Bell, but Deku and the rest end up just dis dismantling any that come pretty much trying to rush over. And Raraka actually gets a few of her biotics. As it's like, alright, well done. As when morning comes, the fences have been cut through or blown up. As Mr. Shield and them arrive, everything's still here, boss. Like, you upheld your end, I guess. As then, they receive payments like, See you in a little bit, Mr. Shield. It's like, we'll be back tonight. As everyone's tired and they just, like, go pass out. As it's like, Ugh. It's like, maybe we should buy some Max. As then, they get that done. And eventually just... And they all have found their way. Or Rocket will be there for a bit of time. And, you know... This will be nice. Anyways, that's where I'm going to cut this one off at. I hope you all have enjoyed this. Hope you all continue to enjoy this. And I hope you all have a nice day, nice night, nice life.